So how do you write Etsy titles today per the Etsy standards of listing optimization? So we're gonna be covering in this video as well as some of the do's and don'ts and just some of the psychology of why Etsy wants things a certain way because as we know, Etsy is constantly changing. So as Etsy sellers, we are also constantly changing. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I sell mainly on Etsy and Shopify. I have built multiple brands via both sales channels and I've just been docking, docking, documenting that here on YouTube. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So what is the proper way to be writing your titles for your listing? So the first thing I just wanna preference this entire video with, if there is something to stress over per your listing optimization, I cannot stress enough. The most important thing is your photography, your imagery, and your videography. That is the most important element besides just having good quality products, obviously. But if there's one thing to stress over when it comes to listing optimization, most important first is photography and videography, making sure that you are the most competitive and have the most compelling imagery compared to your competition. With that being said, I'm not saying that keywords are not not important. They're definitely important and it's always in your best interest to set yourself up for the best case scenario when it comes to your keywords. So what does this look like today per Etsy standards? According to Etsy, your item title is used to create the page title for your listing page. Obviously we know this. Search engines only show the first 50 to 60 characters for a page title, so put the most important keywords first. So what that's saying is that when your keywords show up in the Etsy search search pages or if your listing is showing up on Google because it's running Google shopping ads to your listing, then what it's saying is basically that there's only a limited amount of space that's showing per your entire title. So only the first few words are gonna show up. So they're putting the most emphasis now, specifically according to Etsy, after I spoke with them, the first four words specifically. So the first four word slots in your title are the most important. Really describe your item at the beginning of the item title. Your title should sound natural and a buyer who sees the title on Google should quickly be able to read and understand it. So any of these major third-party selling platforms quite frankly, care more about their buyer experience than the Etsy merchant seller experience. This is just what it is. So what it's basically saying is we don't want you to stuff your titles with a bunch of keywords or anything that could be potentially hazardous or confusing to the buyer because again, at the end of the day, what do they care about? They care about the buyer experience. So if you potentially are confusing your customer with adding too many keywords or keywords that aren't a keyword product fit, then this actually is going to hurt you. Followed by use keywords you think the shopper may search but avoid repeating the same phrases over and over again. This could be construed as keyword stuffing, which is when a page is loaded with keywords to manipulate a site's ranking. Keyword stuffing may have a negative effect on your listing page performance. This is contrary to what I used to do. I used to actually repeat keywords over and over again in my titles and in my tags and my description. So what they're saying is that you actually don't need to repeat your keywords. So if you have the word in there, beige, large t-shirt, right? You don't then need to write, large cotton t-shirt again, right? You don't need to repeat the word over and over. And so, like I said, this is something that I used to do in my titles. And that's why we're going to go over an example of how we're going to fix existing titles and how I would write a new title. Let's say that we wanted to sell a macrame plant shaped green wall art. We're making some macrame wall art like this. Now, previously, if I was going to sell this product, I would set up a title that looked something sort of like this. Now, there's two things that I can identify in this title that we can optimize or fix in a sense, right? The first thing is, as you can see, all these highlighted words are being repeated. So we can consolidate this listing and make room for more words to increase our searchability on the Etsy search pages. So we're going to consolidate this and make more room for new words to increase searchability because we don't have to repeat our words over and over again. Now, the second thing that we can improve upon on this listing is, as you can see, all the long tail keywords are being divided by lines. Now, these lines in the eyes of Etsy are actually 
actually being counted as their own word. If Etsy cares about those first four words specifically the most, then that if that fourth word is just a dashed separator, it's technically wasting that spot and Etsy's counting that as a word instead of just a dividing line. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take out all these dividing lines and we're gonna separate our keyword phrases by commas instead. Now, when it comes to doing the actual keyword research, the first question that we're gonna ask ourselves is what are our best case scenario keywords for this listing based off of three things. The first is search volume, the second is comp competition, and the third is keyword product fit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is type in a broad key term. So I'm gonna put in macrame wall art. So I'm not putting in green macrame wall art, I'm not putting in plant macrame wall art, I'm just putting in a broad search term that is a keyword product fit for my product. I'm using a Sales Samurai Chrome extension here, which is why I'm actually able to see the search volume here. So if I hit 500 more here, what we are going to end up with is a bunch of words that are most closely associated to that word. Now I'm using Sales Samurai and I talk about Sales Samurai all the time. It's what I use for keyword research and mainly competitor analysis. And this just puts real data behind some of our decisions. Because remember those first two things that we talked about that is setting ourselves up for the best case scenario is search volume and competition. And then the third one is more of a perceptual based intuition sense, which is keyword product fit. Now the first two we can call out just based off of reading data, simple data, we can see this black and white. And now third, as far as keyword product fit goes, this is something that's more perceptual based that you think is a keyword product that fit. And if you don't know if a word is a perfect keyword product fit for your product, the easy way to determine that is by simply taking the keyword, going into Etsy in an incognito window, putting that word into the search bar, searching that word and seeing what shows up. And if your exact products or your main competitors aren't showing up, then it probably isn't an exact keyword product fit. So this is what we're looking for when it comes to taking over the majority of the words in our titles. And I'm saying majority because we'll explain why here in a second. If you guys are interested in checking out Sales Samurai, you can use code Etsy to get 20% off and the link is in my description. Basically, we typed in macrame wall art. I'm gonna sort this by the highest search volume. And what I wanna do is I just wanna start coming in here and finding keywords that have the highest search volume. So the word search volume that's at the top and maybe even words that have lower competition and are the best keyword product fit. And I'm gonna come in here and start highlighting all of those words. So we have macrame, macrame wall hangings, dyed macrame wall hanging, um, large, we have extra large. What's interesting to see here is that macrame wall hang actually has way less competition, but relatively just as high search volume. This would be something that I would actually want to test and put wall hang instead of wall hanging in the beginning of my title, which is, this is something new just based off doing this research. So after I come through this list and I highlight all the ones that are really getting a good amount of search volume. Like I would say in a couple of hundreds is pretty good. Um, now, obviously not all of these words have low competition, but we're gonna prioritize any words that we find that potentially do have lower competition and put those words um, in priority when it comes to organizing which keywords come first, second, third. I just came in here, highlighted all of these words, and now I'm gonna hit download all. Now, once I download it, it's giving me a sheet that looks like this. Now, you might be thinking, well, what do I do with this? Because we're repeating words over and over and over again. So I'm gonna start coming in here removing all of the duplicate words. So we already have the word wall. We don't have hangings, we have hanging. We have, so we can erase anything that is being duplicated. Now you might be wondering, well, how are we supposed to make a title just out of these words? This is not enough words. So this list doesn't resemble all of the words that are gonna be, exist in your title. It resembles the priority words based off of search volume. And as we see the one here, this is the competition one, which is hang instead of hangings or hangs or hang, hangings, right? So we just wanna put emphasis and prioritize the wor these words over anything else. We asked ourselves, what are our best case scenario words, right? Based off of competition, search volume, and keyword product fit. These are arguably our best case scenario words as far as 
having the most search volume and keyword product fit and competition, right? But obviously there's other words to be found that can be put into our titles. So the second question that we need to ask is, what are other words we can use to increase searchability, right? So not necessarily our perfect keyword product fit, but are, that are words that we can add in there that we could potentially rank on certain pages for and get purchases for because you know, we fall into that broader category. So let's just start with the beginning of this title. So I actually like the idea of doing mac macrame leaf wall hang, since hang is actually a way, way less competition in comparison to wall hanging. So I am gonna actually keep that as the first four words of our title. Now let's figure out what other words we need to add in here. So now we just added in here, dyed plant woven hanging. So now we got the word hanging, we got the word dyed, and we got the word woven, right? Now we're gonna move on to the next one because we're kind of running out of our core words here. We also have words like new home gift, right? And that's a word that I'm saying that this is actually a really high search volume key, longer tail keyword. It's not specifically describing what our product is, but we could fall under that category and increase our searchability for that word. We actually go ahead and we put this into our title we see that we only have 12 spots left I actually got in quite a few words without looking like we're stuffing the keywords or anything like that so we've ta basically taken this to this keyword research shouldn't be anything that's like stressful asking ourselves the those two core questions what are our best case scenario words followed what are other words that we can add to increase visibility so i hope you got some value out of this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment any of your questions or concerns down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.